Today I will discuss about how to measure basal acuity in child from birth to 3 months of age. At birth a child has basal acuity of about 1 by 60 or 6 by 360. That means an object that a normal person can see from 60 meters a child after birth is able to see from 1 meter only. So you can see how less a newborn can see. With 1 by 60 vision the child is able to fix a face moving within 1 meter. The measurement of quantitative visual acuity is not possible at this age. Tests are used to identify whether child is seeing or not, visual pathway is normal or not, afferent and efferent pathway is normal or not, vestibular ocular reflex is normal or not, etc. Available tests are 1. Blink reflex test, 2. Pupillary light reflex test, 3. Vestibular ocular reflex test, 4. Eye popping test, 5. Optokinetic nystigmas test. Now, blink reflex test. In this test, child sits on mother lap or lie in bed. Then a bright light source, that is torch, is directed towards the child's eyes. When bright light is shown to child's eyes, an infant with normal vision should respond by blinking. Blinking to bright light indicate normal visual pathway. If child is not blinking or closing eyes when a bright light is shown, then posterior segment and visual pathway need to be examined. 2. Pupillary light reflex test. In this test, light show to one eye and observe pupil response in both eye. When light is shown to one eye, both pupil should constrict simultaneously. That is called pupillary light reflex. Presence of pupillary light reflex indicates intact afferent pathways and efferent pathways. Efferent pathways. Efferent pathways transport the visual stimulus from retina to the brain. Efferent pathways. Efferent pathways transport the visual stimulus from brain to splinter muscles of pupil. So, when light is shown to child's eyes, the light is converted into visual stimulus by rods and cone cells. Then, this visual stimulus is transported by efferent pathways to the brain. Then, brain sends signal to splinter muscles of pupil to constrict that is transported by efferent pathways. So, a child with normal visual pathway when light is shown to one eye, then both pupil should be constricted simultaneously. This is the most reliable test to determine presence of vision except in cortical blindness. 3. Vestibular ocular reflex. In this test, child's attention is directed to an object that can be a toy. While the child is fixating at that object, his or her head is rooted or turned right or left and then observe eyes response. Infants with normal visual system, eyes will deviate opposite to the direction of head rotation. 4. Eye popping test. In this test, the child is taken to a illuminated room. When the room lights are suddenly dimmed, the baby's upper lids should pop open wide for a moment. The baby will often close its eyes when the lights are brought back but will again pop its eyes open when the lights are dimmed. This behavior is documented as positive eye popping. A child without normal vision, eye popping test will be negative. Now, optokinetic nystagmus test. In this test, an optokinetic drum consists of black and white strips is rooted in front of the child. A child with normal vision will try to fix it, but as black and white strips are moving, it will create a nystagmoid eye movement. These black and white strips are available in different width. Smaller the width of black and white strips able to create a nystagmoid eye movement, better the vision of the child. It is reported that optokinetic nystigmus acuity is at least 6 by 120 in the newborns and improves rapidly during the first few months of life. 
reaching to a level of 6x60 at 2 month, 6x30 at 6 month and 6x6 by 20 by to 30 month. Stay with Smart Optometry and study optometry smartly.